But we are just five hours away from King Charles's official coronation ceremony in London. People there have been lined up for days now. Earlier today, he greeted people outside Buckingham Palace. Dignitaries from around the world are attending, including First Lady Jill Biden, who visited the Prime Minister who Rishi Sunak and his wife Aksha Murthy today. Coronation celebrations are also being held here in San Francisco. KTV's Jana Katsuyama spoke with one member of the British consulate who was just at Buckingham Palace last week to receive an honor from the royal family. Jana. Yes, the British Deputy Consul General tells me that it was incredible to see all of the excitement in London. The official ceremony starts at 11 a.m. in London. That's early here, 3 a.m. But there will be events all weekend here in the Bay Area to celebrate this historic historic event and most people in Britain have never seen a coronation ceremony. The trip to Buckingham Palace for San Francisco's British Deputy Consul General came just as preparations for King Charles's coronation were in full swing. Just around the palace, you know, stages were being set up for this weekend, the stalls were being set up for all the people that are lucky enough to get tickets, um, but just, I mean, London is looking fabulous. with the British Deputy Consul General Tammy Sandhu was honored by the royal family last week, flown from San Francisco to London to receive the prestigious Member of the Order of the British Empire Medal bestowed in a ceremony by Princess Anne. The thrill magnified by the excitement just one week ahead of the historic coronation. People that worked in the palace were all about to receive um, the new crests on all of their clothing, uh, so the new insignias, so that was, that was very, very exciting. King Charles met with well-wishers Friday and had a final dress rehearsal for the ceremony that will be shorter than his mother's coronation and include a diverse group of religious leaders. He's much more of a sort of 20, 20th century, 21st century monarch. British expat Christopher Dean, who owns Crown and Crumpet Tea Room in San Francisco with his wife Amy, is holding a special coronation tea event Saturday to mark the historic moment. The first chance in 70 years for younger generations to witness the ceremony. My mother is 86, so she kind of remembers it from, you know, 1953. It's a whole generation or two even of people who've not experienced a coronation, so, so it's a big deal. For Dean and many other Brits, King Charles represents the changing of an era. The British consulate in San Francisco has been posting photos on social media of the King's 2005 visit to the Bay Area when he called attention to issues of climate change, agriculture, and sustainability. Deputy Consul General Sandhu says cultural and ethnic diversity are also a priority for the new King. She wore a traditional Indian dress to Buckingham Palace for her investiture ceremony, honored by the royal family for her work to change racial attitudes within Britain's Foreign Service. How we make our foreign policy uh, less racist, or we think about it through a race lens. And the Deputy Consul General says that the British Consulate will be hosting a coronation reception Saturday at Grace Cathedral. That is a private event. On Sunday, there will be a public concert in Tiburon that will mirror the coronation concert in England. And Monday, the consulate staff plans to answer the royal family's call to volunteer by holding a cleanup event at Golden Gate Park's Stowe Lake. Jana Katsuyama in studio tonight. Jana, thank you. We will be airing the coronation of King Charles III live right here on KTVU tomorrow morning, starting at 2 o'clock from London. Mornings on two weekends will be on as usual starting at 7 a.m. If the coronation is still underway, though, we'll move it over to KTVU+.